Welcome to Sporty's series on learning to fly. I'm Spencer Suderman. You may have seen me previously in Sporty's Advanced Pilot Skills and IFR Insights series. I've spent the past 21 years flying air shows and making pilots safer by teaching upset recovery and spins. In this episode, you're going to meet Paula, who has been flying with her friends and now wants to become a pilot. So Paula, while we have a few minutes while we're waiting to take off, why do you want to be a pilot? Um, because, you know, how can you not shoot for the sky? <laughs> That's right. Now let's get into a Cessna 172 as Paula's discovery flight begins with learning to taxi while picking up the airport information and weather. We're going to go all the way to the end where that airplane is, then we'll call. Craig so airplane. put the line between your feet. Fox, yeah. Time 1553 five, Zulu. Wind variable at 4. Visibility 10. Uh, <laughs> okay. 2,700 broken. Funky. 3,100 <laughs> broken. Take a little movement. 28. Dew point two tree. Altimeter okay. tree zero zero six. Visual approach runway five in use. All VFR departing aircraft advise ground control on this contact direction of flight. If north the line between clear your feet. class early airspace or contact actual approach control on one two four point nine air. Attention aircraft five G no tens in effect for Craig Airport. For more information, contact flight service frequencies. Advise on this contact. You have information to Foxtrot. Okay, Foxtrot. Okay, pull the throttle out and start tapping the brakes a little bit. Oh, We're like gonna... like towards me? <laughs> oh, no, here, see the brakes there? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm on there with you. So this, is, this, is... this is a line that we can't cross. This is a hold short line. We can't cross that line until we have a clearance. Okay. If you want me to do the radio talk or you yes. want to do it? <laughs> okay. So let me get on to, uh, we're on ground. The, uh, Craig Ground, Cessna A14, Mike Victor on Gulf at Bravo with Foxtrot, taxi runway 5 for a southeast departure. Charge A14, Mike Victor, Craig Ground, follow the Cessna off your left side, runway 5, taxi at Bravo. We'll follow the Cessna traffic in sight, runway 5, A14, Mike Victor. Okay, so after he goes by, we'll go over the run up area. Okay. All right, so my feet are, you got the plane. Okay. We'll Craig always say my plane, your plane. Two Piper Archer, okay. ATP information, Foxtrot, ready to taxi request. We go now? Yep. So just follow the taxiway line that way. Just a little bit of power, a little bit of power. Uh, right, little little right rudder. Now you can use a little brake. See how the brake helps it turn? Yeah. Okay. See the big blue marking on the ground? Yeah. We'll go there and we'll turn around into the wind. Okay. Power. And just get used to uh, driving on the ground or taxiing as we call it. Yeah. <laughs> Straight towards it a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now, full left rudder, left rudder, left brake, uh, left brake. I got, I'll help you there. There sorry. you go. You see, you see what I'm doing there? Yeah, you see how here. that just turns us right around? Yeah. And then both brakes. Boom, we're here. Okay. So now we keep our feet on the brakes. All right, let me get the checklist out, and we're going to go through our run-up. Remember, every time we change controls, I'll say your plane, and you my plane. That means you're, you're, you're flying. Okay. When you want to give the controls back, you say your plane, and I'll say my plane. Okay. Right? Your plane, my plane. That way we always know who's actually controlling the airplane. Crew check 601, left traffic, runway 5, clear for takeoff. 5, clear for takeoff, left traffic, crew check 601. All right, just roll up to the line. Stay on the yellow line. Got a little, little bit of little power, a bit of right rudder, and get yourself on the yellow line, and then see the, the hold short? Yeah. Okay, stop behind that. Okay, a little brakes. Good, stop right there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Craig Towers, Cessna 814, Mike Victor, holding short runway 5, southeast departure. 814, Mike Victor, Craig Towers, no delay, right turn on course, runway 5, clear for takeoff, no delay. No delay, clear for takeoff, runway 5, 814, Mike Victor. Can I yeah, help you here a little bit? Yes, yeah, please. <laughs> one more departure out. He strobes on. Okay. 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 okay, stay on the controls with me. On the okay, okay. okay. Hand good. on the throttle. Uh huh. Okay, start turning left. Left rudder. There you go. Rudder. Get us on the center line. Okay. We'll try. <laughs> I'm going to help you a little bit there. Get us on the center line. Okay. Okay. Now push that throttle all the way in. You use your feet to steer. Okay. Power. Push it all the way in. See how, you see how I'm using my feet a little bit? I'm helping you. You're doing it. Yeah. Okay. One hand. Left hand only. Right hand on the throttle. Okay. Good. Now about 55 knots. Okay. Start pulling back on the yoke. Just gently. Gently pull back. A little more. There you go. You took off. All right. Hold the yoke. Hold the nose right. See how the nose, see that angle of the nose to the horizon? Yes. Hold it right there. Okay. A little bit of pressure on the yoke. 
right, you have to push it a little bit. Huh? I'm, I'm going to move the trim knob here. Okay. Feel that? The pressure went away? Yeah. Okay. Check tower. Here you go. Check seven. We're right about 75 knots, which is perfect. Hey, look outside. Just maintain the, the position of the nose to the horizon. Circle southwest airport for right traffic. Oh, really nice. Circle. Bit of right rudder. When we're climbing, we'll talk about uh, all the uh, left, left yaw right. tendencies from the prop. But you need a little bit of right rudder. See this little line? That should be under the triangle. Okay. See when you take the right rudder out, it slides. Okay. Now we have a little bit of right rudder in until that line's right there. Don't stare at it. Just figure out how much right rudder, then look outside. Okay. Let's start making a right turn towards the beach. Real quick, lift the wing, look for traffic. You see anything under there? Nope. All right, now a little bit of right bank. Okay. Better right rudder in the roll. See, keep that line under there. Okay. Outside, good. That's about the bank. There you go. A little bit of back pressure. Okay. There you go. See how it turns? Yes. All right. Keep turning, keep turning. Turning. Hold everything here. See how it's turning gently? Yes. Keep the bank in. Good. Little bit of, there you go. Okay, now roll wings level. Let's go in this direction towards the beach this way. So roll wings level. Okay. There you go. Exactly. The nose up a little bit, climb back up to 2,000. Okay. Hand, on, the trim? hand on the throttle. Okay. Only, you, only touch the trim when you actually want to move it. Okay. There you go, 2,000, so push the nose to level. There you go. Or you can readjust the trim if you need to. Okay. This should feel pretty neutral, does it? Like there's pressure on it? Good. It does. Yeah. That, that takes the workload off of you. You don't have to keep working it. Let's go parallel to the beach. So just uh, put the nose right on the beach. Okay. It's a little bit of right turn. Good. A little bit of right rudder when you roll in. Got to keep that that line. That's your coordination indicator. Okay. But now roll out. Roll level. There you go. A little left rudder when you roll level. Good. Keep the beach in position under the nose. Okay. We're climbing a bit, so push the... Oh, you got to go down a bit. Push down a little bit. Try to yep. get us back to 2,000. Uh, we're losing that triangle. <laughs> Just needs a touch of, see that little touch of right rudder? So look outside. Mostly like look outside, look outside. Oh, quick look down. Look outside, look outside. Quick look down. That's how you do it. Okay. And it's not even that fast. Mostly you look outside. You want to try, you want to try to get the nose and the horizon at the same distance apart when you're level. That's how you know you're, I should, you, you should be able to look outside and just go, oh, we're in level flight because I see the nose is the correct distance below the horizon. Or going up. <laughs> well, put, put it put it where you want it. Yeah, going back down. So, right, always, you're the boss of the airplane. It's not the boss of you. All right, so should we try a fun turn? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's, we're going to turn 90 degrees in that, or not yet. Just keep, okay. going, keep going over the beach. Okay, yeah. so what you always want to do before you turn, especially in a Cessna, is you want to lift the wing and look for traffic. Huh? So kind of like this, I'll show you. So my plane, I stay on it plane. with me. So I I, notice how I just lift the wing. Oh, okay, it's all clear. Your airplane. Now, make a right turn, 90 degrees. So whatever is under the wing, turn towards it. Roll in one hand. Oh, one sorry. Hand. That's, <laughs> a, that's okay. Roll in some bank. A little bit of rudder during the roll in. A little bit of back pressure. That's that's 30 degrees of bank. That's the perfect amount. Okay. Now look outside. Sweep the nose across the horizon. More bank. Same amount of bank. Just just think about the nose going across the horizon. A little bit of back pressure. That's how you turn. There. Okay. Well, that. Notice our turn rate just increased. Okay. Let's try to keep the horizon at the same relative position to the nose and just with back pressure, sweep it across the horizon. Good. Let's turn all the way around. Look at that, a 180. We're going to do 90, but 180 works. <laughs> all right. Might as well just keep going around. Line up on the beach again. Shallow your bank a little. That's a little too much bank. Okay. About 30 degrees. Good. Same thing. I know it's a little harder to see the horizon. Just sweep the nose. A little back pressure. Sweep the nose across the horizon. Good fun? Yeah. Is it hard? No. <laughs> and keep, keep turning until we're lined up with the beach. And then roll out. And as you roll out, a little bit of left rudder when you do the left roll. One hand on the yoke. One hand on the yoke. Okay, roll out a little left rudder. Yeah. Go ahead, roll us wing level. There you go. I noticed the nose coming up there, so control uh, that. Yeah, Con Going back down. Adjust your trim <laughs> if you need to. You might need a little wheel up to get the nose down. Just get the pressure off the yoke. Okay. That might be too much. There you go. 
We fly with the yoke, we adjust the pressure with the trim. Takes a little getting used to. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what turns. Uh... Let's play with that a little bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, please. just bank, huh? turning the yoke, which is the ailerons, all that does is change your bank. Go ahead and do a little bit of left and then come back to the right. We're not going to turn, we're just going to roll. Here we show you. Okay. Hold let's, control? Let's, I can, no, I'm just, you're, you're flying, I'm just okay. on it with you, okay? Okay. So let's try, let's try this quick exercise. Left and then right. So you see what that does? All that does, if you do it kind of quick like that, just adjust your bank. Okay, now you do it. There you go. Okay. Now, when you push and pull, you're working the elevator on the back of the airplane. So go ahead and pull back a little bit. We expect the nose to so we start climbing. Okay. Okay, go ahead and pull back a little bit. Look outside and pull back a little bit. Pull back. Climbing. Now, push the nose down to descend. There you go. Cool. No. Okay, <laughs> make sense? Okay. Now, let's do another turn. Let's go to the left. So first, lift your left wing and just look for traffic. It, all right, now roll in a left turn. So roll in, a little bit of left rudder as you roll. Start pulling back a little bit to make the turn happen. So rolling in and setting the bank angle is the start of the turn. You need a little back pressure to increase lift or angle of attack to make the turn. Don't let the nose drop. Keep the nose on the horizon, right where it started. Okay. There you go. Or look outside, look at the, the nose to the horizon and just bring the nose across the horizon with a bit of back pressure. Back pressure on the yoke. There you go, nicely done. Roll out right here, parallel the beach. Good, there you go, roll a little right rudder as you're rolling to the right. We try to use the rudder when we roll. Okay. Right, so so if you notice. Is that to help you do like a steep turn? Uh, no, that so what the rudder does is it helps coordinate the turn. So let's, Okay. let me take the airplane for a second, my airplane. Your airplane. Okay, now I want you to watch the little slip skid indicator. I'm gonna make a bank, but I'm not gonna touch the rudder. My feet are off the rudder, watch what happens. I'm gonna bank left. What happened to the skid indicator? Uh, it separated. No, notice it started going to the left, telling you we're not flying coordinated, we need a little left rudder. Now, I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna use a little left rudder as I roll in. Watch the slip skid indicator. At that time, it stays right under the triangle? Yeah. Okay. What happens is when you, when you bank, if you don't, if, if normally when you bank, you get this adverse yaw, it makes the nose go in the opposite direction. Yeah. What you're doing with the rudder is you're counteracting that adverse, we call that adverse yaw, you're counteracting the adverse yaw. So go ahead and play with that a little bit. Okay. So bank back and forth, and as you, as you roll left, use left rudder. As you roll right, use right rudder, and just take a look at that little slip skin indicator. Try to keep it under the triangle. Okay. All right. Just use shallow amounts of bank. <laughs> so I'm going to turn left? Yep. So left, not turn though, we're just going to roll left. We're not really okay. going to try to turn. So just roll, roll left and a little bit of left rudder. Keep that line under the triangle. <laughs> Wrong side. Um. Roll, try to roll first. Here, roll first and then catch up. So roll left and then catch up with the left rudder. Okay, so roll over. There you go, now a little bit of left, or look at that, see the line, the line staying under? Yeah. All right, now roll right, right and right rudder, good, roll right, keep the roll in, notice the line staying right, and good, now roll yeah. back to the left. Uh, my left is lacking. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get coordinated again, so okay. here, use the rudder, get the line, get us coordinated. All right. Let's do another turn. It's, only, right. it's always helpful to just do an actual turn. <laughs> so let's turn to the left. We'll turn 180 degrees, so we'll go back to the south along the beach. Okay. So first, lift your wing, look for traffic. Okay. Okay, good. Now, roll, now looking over the nose, roll in your bank. Good. Hold the bank, now a little back pressure, right? That, that increases angle of attack, makes the turn happen. Good. Not too much bank, keep it about 30, good. Okay. A little more back pressure. Go back. You notice when you increase the back pressure, it turns faster? Yeah. Talk more on the ground, but that's about increasing lift. Lift is what makes the plane turn, especially when the wings are banked. Now roll out right over the beach. When you roll out, right right roll, right rudder. There you go. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Not that hard, is it? No. <laughs> All right. So let's try some climbs and descents. So normally when we climb, we add power. 
Okay. And we just full power. So we're we're right about we're right about 2,200 feet. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and push the power in all the way. Now pull the yoke back and bring the nose up till the nose is just above the horizon. Okay. More, a little more. Bring it up a little more. More. Now hold it there. Okay. Now just go in a straight line. Okay. Try not to watch your roll. Mm -hmm. Good. Notice we're increasing altitude and our airspeed's dropping. Yeah. Good. Now level off at 2,600 feet, right where we yoke forward a bit and hold this level right here. You can pull some power out. About 2,400 RPM. All right, good. Look at that. We're at 2,600. We're at 100 knots. Right, now let's descend. So first, pull a little power out. Take this down at 2,000 RPM. Just lower the nose. Up. Lower the nose below the horizon and just let it descend. There you go. Good. Now just hold it right there. Look at look over the nose. Just hold the nose. So notice the angle of the nose to the horizon. Just hold that sight picture. Pull a little more power out. Take us take the power down at two thousand. Two thousand. Yep. Hold the sight picture. Notice we have a slight bit of down angle. This is perfect. Good. Now just hold that sight picture of the nose to the horizon. Now that the power's out, notice we're losing altitude. Mm -hmm. Okay, when we get to two thousand feet, you're gonna add the power and level up. And actually, okay. you're going to start that a little above 2,000, right? So about, about 22,050 feet, you're going to start to add the power and bring the nose. So just hold everything. You're, you're good right here. Keep descending. Keep that nose down there. Keep descending. Oh, sorry. Not doing anything yet. At 2,050 feet, so that's 2,150. Now, start adding power. Bring the nose up. Add the power. Push, push power in. Right there. Now, hold the nose right there. Remember the sight picture of what level looks like. Good. That right at 2,000 feet. Now let's make a left turn. So remember, lift the nose, lift the wing, look for traffic. Yep. All right, left turn. Roll, roll in your bank, little bit of left rudder as you roll. Okay. Back pressure. Look outside. Looking outside. Just bring that nose across the horizon. Try not to add any more. That's good. That's 30 degrees of bank. That's perfect. Okay. Just think about sweeping that nose across the horizon. All right, we've done the four fundamental flight maneuvers. Speed level, turning, climbing, and descending. Do you feel like a pilot yet? Not yet. I'm oh. too confused still. <laughs> okay. We should probably head back to the airport. So you're going to fly while I get the ATIS. How's that? Okay. Sounds good. Craig Tower, Cessna 814, Mike Victor, about uh, 11 miles to the southeast over the beach with Gulf, full stop landing. 814, Mike Victor, Craig Tower, give me a call about six miles to the south, please. We'll call you six miles south, 814, Mike Victor. Okay, just keep going this direction. Craig Tower, Cessna 814, Mike Victor, about six and a half miles to the south. 814, Mike Victor, enter right base, runway five, report two miles. Enter right base, runway five, report two miles for 4 Mike Victor. Uh, 4 Mike Victor, two mile right base. Two mile right base for Mike Victor. To keep going straight for a bit. We're on base, and then we're going to turn final. Oh, it's hard to see. You can see the runway. That's one four. That's runway three two. You're looking at. Yeah. Hard to see runway five because it goes that way. Okay. Tower, uh, was that clear to land for Mike Victor? A affirmative. A one four, Mike Victor, runway five, clear to land. Let's go ahead and bring our power down to about 1,500 RPM. Thank you, sir. We're going to put first notch of flaps, so 10 degrees of flaps. So just bring this lever down to 10 degrees. Flaps came down. You feel that? Yeah, I did. Gotta push the nose down a little bit when that happens. All right. Let's keep the power where it is. We're getting our speed down to about 75 on base. Everything looks great right now. Right, just go, just keep going straight. Lower, lower the nose a little bit. There you go. Stay 75. Add a bit of power. When we're we're getting in the pattern, we use power to help control our altitude to sync rate. Okay. Pitch control. Remember, so we pitch down, it goes faster. All right, hold it right about 75. Good. Perfect. We're not ready to turn yet, but you see the end of the runway. Okay. Runway five six. Wind check. Wind variable at four. We like to get a wind check so we know what's going. Tower crew check two zero two midfield runway five. Right, you're doing great. Just keep it at seventy five knots. Okay. Hold this course. Look at you. You're lining up on the right. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put in. The, I'm gonna help you out here and put another notch of flaps in. Okay. okay. Don't let the nose come up. Okay. Now pull the power all the way out. Pull the way out. Yep. Turn towards the runway. 
Okay. Good, gentle. No more than 30 degrees. Okay. 30. Just, bring, just point the nose towards it. There you go. I'm trying. <laughs> now we're going to, looking for 65 knots on final. Okay. We're kind of dog-legging a little bit. It's okay. Just go in this direction, and then when we're lined up, just turn towards the runway. I'm gonna, you and I are going to do this, run, this landing together, right? If it, uh, if it oh. sucks, it's on both <laughs> of us. Doing great. Look at that. Look at the lights. Okay. Three, three white, one red. We could have two white, two red, but that's pretty close. Okay, line up on the runway. Point right to the runway. Went great. Okay. Put, Ooh, I, I, I'm on it with you. <laughs> all right, go ahead and pull all the power out. Okay, all okay. out. All right, now start pulling the nose up level right here. Now level right here. Okay. Good. Now bring the nose up as it sinks. Bring the nose up. Oh, slant. <laughs> a little bit of brakes here. <laughs> you got it. I don't know. Taxi off. Too much. Oops, a little too much. Yep. <laughs> Just follow the yellow line. We have to get past that hold short line on the other side. Keep going. Give it, give it okay. a little power. Okay. Stop there. Power. Yeah. Going. Because we're not off the runway. Till, no, keep going. Oh, we're not sorry. off the runway until we're on the other side. <laughs> okay. The yellow line. Okay. Tap a little brakes and bring us to a complete stop. Okay. Brakes. Brakes. Woo! <laughs> okay, just relax for a second. All right. Relaxing. So we're going to clean up the airplane. So I'm going to put the flaps up. You can open your window. Um, uh, lean out the mixture for taxi. Okay. High five on that landing. Nice. <laughs> How was that? It was fun. I will admit, a little bit confused, but, you know, we'll get there someday. <laughs> you still want to be a pilot? Yes. All right. Yes, I do. That's what matters. <laughs> Thanks for riding along, and I hope this flight gave you a feel for what learning to fly is all about. To take the next step, check out Sporty's Learn to Fly course, which includes over 15 hours of HD video training and comprehensive written test preparation tools. Head over to sporties.com courses to check out a free demo and get started.